Alright, how are we doing? Scrottle here from the Splash Brothers. Going live, opening up our final box of a case of Brilliant Stars, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. We're going to have a good time. So hopefully some people are going to come join us pretty soon. This is Laura waiting to just start preparing some stuff. Throw it down there. So this is going to be an interesting YouTube video in that we are we are going live at the same time as um, opening going live at the same time so hey Matt good mate good just opening another box of brilliant stars so on a Sunday night good times good times how are you man you, you keeping well so it's continuing to us to cut open some packs um, just to help make the make the opening process a bit easier. Good, good, good. See so you doing well. Um, so I'm just going to go through quickly and look to share the share it round. So I'm just kind of looking to do that. Um, hopefully that worked. Hopefully that worked. Okay, we've got a couple more people on. Good, good. Good times. Okay, cool. So we've got Liam on. Sweet. Good to see you on, buddy. Um, so let's share this. Share to a group. Let's share it around, eh? Let's share it around. Let's see if some more people turn up to hang out and that will be a good time that'll be a good time but hey Sal good to see you on mate good to see you on let's go and do Matt's last box of brilliant stars um, I thought I think it's the last one why not go live and see if we can um, be recording at the same time that we're going live um, so far so good which is great um, so yeah, but just waiting for some more people to come on, I suppose, before I crack straight into it. So I've just shared it around, and I thought while we're waiting, I'm just going to be um, opening the seals and some packs, just to help speed up that process. Um, that way, people like um, people like Alex don't get super upset by the by the length of time it takes. So, uh, but as soon as I've done this first half of the box, I think I'll just crack into it. So, no, that side deck is not going to be cheap to make in real life, bro. Um, like, you've got to be pulling the cards, really, to have any shot at it. Like, you know, um, the Ar Arceus pieces alone are like, you know, you're looking at like 200 bucks just for Arceus. Um, and then you've got the Zard pieces on top of that, like, you know, so you're looking at... The Zard deck's probably, it's probably at least 300 to make. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a, it's an expensive boy, but you know what? It won. It won for me at Team Challenge, so why not? Okay, guys. Um, let's just crack it until I've got, I've got um, half the box cut open. So we're just going to snap into it and um, see how we go, eh? Okay, let's just see that. Yeah, that looks right. That's all right. Okay, so we've got Cub Chew, Dusk Girl. So we're opening up a box of Brilliant Stars. Um, we've started with, I think it's the left-hand side of the box. And um, big thanks to Logan at Pop, at Pop Guardian. I'm about to say Pop Stop. Pop Guardian. Um, big thanks to Logan there, um, who set us up with, these, with this case at super cheap prices. 
Um, and so we're really, really thankful for that, Logan. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, but check them out for your Pokemon needs. Um, that's all good. But we've just got a whole... This is the last box of the case. Um, I'm wondering if this box has got... Uh, if this box has got a um, Luminion, Luminion alt art on it. Um, this case has been pretty good. Oh, Flareon character art. Very nice. Um, we've seen some really cool Animananthi. Excellent. What a pack. So we've seen some um, Charizard alt art and, uh, and an Arceus alt art so far in this case. Um, and so a Luminion alt art would just be like the icing on the cake, I think, just to kind of um, round out round out what's going on. So, um, yeah, love to see in chat what you guys think for the big hit. The big hit for the box might be. Um, I've already seen a Charizard V Star Hyper and a Charizard V Alt Art pulled from pulled from this case. And so, um, yeah, be interesting to see what you guys think. The the hit from this box will be the big hit. Halucha, Steel Energy, Luxio, Hit on top, Magma Basin, Wormitum Reverse. And an Infernape Hollow. Okay, okay. I thought that was going to be a good hit, that pack. But it's right. It's right. The box is keeping me, keeping me um, guessing. Yeah, that's all right. And that's all right. Um, how's everyone's weekend been? Um, love to know. Love to know what's been going on around the country. Uh, what's going on for all of you? Um, throw, throw that around as well. Um, Turtwig, Trapinch, Piplup. Shroomish, Perloin, Psychic Energy, Fracture, Tropius, Roseanne's back up. We've got Golok Reverse Hollow and a Zerud V as the first official hit of the box. Which I think this is like the second one of it I've seen of these for Matt um, in two days. Um, which is all good because Matt might be looking to build that deck. Um, just because. That jungle rage attack doing 120 damage, and if your opponent's Pokemon is a Pokemon V, that does an extra 120, um, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Gold knowledge ball, yeah, I think a, a, a golden bird maybe had the had the Moltres come through, so golden Zapdos or golden Articuno, um, golden Articuno would be good. Crawdont, Ultra Ball, is an ordinary Ultra Ball VSL. Tropius, Riolo Reverse, and an Ice Q Ordinary Rare. Finish the pack off. Two, three, four. One, two over the top. So for those wondering what card trick I use, um, I do the four. Sorry about that, guys. I do the four over the. Oh, golly. I do the four over the top, and then I shuffle them in behind the next two. So um, that way I get the commons at the front, and then I get the the energy, and then into the uncommons at the back, followed by the reverse hollow. Oh, Whimsicott V-Star. Oh, very nice. Okay, it's the first V-Star card I've seen for a while. I'm um, in all these boxes and it have been opening, so that's very good. Um, I like the Whimsicott V-Star card with its Fluffball Star attack there. Let's see if I can actually get that to show up nicely. Um, which does, basically it does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon on the field. That, um, for every energy that's attached to Whimsicott V-Star. So, using it with something like Shadow Rider, where you can keep attaching energy the more Shadow Riders you have on the field. Um, or using things like double turbo energy because it doesn't specify psychic energy. So the fact that you can power it up more with double turbo. So that even, you do, even though your double turbo um, takes off 20 damage, it adds 120. So it's better than just having the one psychic energy on there. Morgrim, Claydol, Executor, Turtwig Reverse, and a Luxray Ordinary Rare there. So that's what one of the ways that makes it really good. And um, I, I run a Shadow Rider Whimsicott V-Star deck. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. The only problem with it at the moment 
is that Arceus Dark Box is um, one of the leading decks at the moment. So, um, so my poor Shadow Riders is get absolutely wrecked. Um, but the good thing is, is that Whimsicott V Star has a steel weakness. So in terms of the in terms of the deck itself, the Whimsicott's actually um, handled themselves okay. Probro Pass Reverse and a Mewtwo Ordinary. Where there you go, Will Lane, if you're watching, Mewtwo there for you, bro. Oh, thank you, thank you. I do like the mat. Um, funnily enough, though, I think technically it's actually a mouse pad. Um, and I got it off AliExpress of all places. So nice and cheap. I think it cost me like 20 bucks. Free postage. And um, it's a little bit on the small side for a Pokemon playmat. It's only 600 mils wide. Uh, but I do have some other ones as well, which are a little bit bigger. Um, which make them, which actually make for really great Pokemon playmats. Um, and they're just so much more affordable to buy. That's why I go for AliExpress there. Hunting Gloves, Weavile, Fracture, Octillery Character Art. There we go. It's one of my favorite character arts from this collection. And then Empoleon Hollow. There we go. Sweet. There's a pop Octillery away there. Um, I'll be surprised anyone running the Rapid Stroll de decks at the moment isn't running the Octillery Character Arts. Just because, like, it's not even that expensive to buy. Just looks looks fantastic, and um, yeah, it just just really makes a bit of a difference, which is cool. Alrighty, on to the next pack: Milsery, Carablast, Clefairy, Cheruby, Sork, Dark Energy, Vibrava, Cafe Master, Monferno, Pitplop Reverse, and a Grim Snarl Ordinary V to finish the pack off there. See a lot of those Grim Snail Vs in the, in the white co-packs. Um, seems to be a bit of a popular one. Um, two energy attacks. Not bad Not bad to use, but just so hard to get it fully evolved. So um, that's why I wouldn't particularly use it. But if you're running it in an Arceus deck, well, everything's easy to evolve when Arceus V-Star is in play. And Clefairy, Cheruby, Water Energy, Cafe Master... Gabite, Grottle, Electivire Reverse, and a Gramble V. There we go. Okay. Okay. I've just, I, I commented on one of my other videos the other, the other day when I recorded it that Gramble V is not a card you see a lot of um, in, terms of, in terms of pulling it. Um, but there we go. I've just pulled two of them in the last few days. So, interesting. Um, not that because, like, it seems to be... Not that because it seems to be a bit uncommon that um, makes it worth more or anything. So it's a bit weird, but um, it's just the way that the, the Pokemon card game seems to be going at the moment in terms of values. They seem to be all over the place. Uh, Corfish, Golot with the other Golot lingering behind. Chimiko, we've got Chimcharm hoeing on his berries. Minchino, Steel Energy, Gloria, Dusclops. Stami, Team Yell's Cheer, Reverse, and Clefable Ordinary Red around the pack out. Okay. So we've had a V Star, we've had two V's, two character arts. Um, we're approaching the halfway point in the, in the box. So hopefully something else turns up to kind of get the get this box rolling. Riolu, Staily. And usually when I make comments like that, it usually means that the that the um, the pack suddenly turns up hard. So I'm wondering if it's going to be a... No, no, it's not. Wormit in reverse and the Flygon Ordinary Rare. I was thinking that... I knew it was a white code pack that I was opening. I was like, maybe the trainer gallery hit's about to be... About to come through hard and give me some nice big VMAX or make like a Umbreon VMAX or an Umbreon V something like that or, or even like tv watching mimic uv which is one of my favorite um trainer gallery cards and out of all the trainer gallery cards actually it's probably the one i like the most cast form chimcha bell toy fire energy morgrim gabite gloria farfetch reverse love that artwork and a dust noir hello Yeah, the, the Fred's Gale article will come out at some point. I'm not sure. I think it is next set. 
Um, I just find it kind of funny that Barry and Friends of Gallard do the same thing in the, in the same set. Like, it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, or that they'd bring out Friends of Galar normal, and then next set they're going to bring out the follow-up. Like, Staravia, Monferno, Gloria, Jolteon. There we go. So we've had... What, what was that? What was the other one before? That was Flareon. So we have Flareon and Jolteon in the same box. Followed up by Heat Rain, Ordinary Rare. Jolteon's a nice card. I pulled it during pre-release. Um... Not that it was any good to use at pre-release. It was absolutely useless, actually, because it didn't have an EV. Um, but it looked good. It looked good, and it felt good to actually get a nice little hit in, um, in my box. One, two... Ooh. Okay, so the backs of... The backs... The back few cards on this. Let's see if we can... The little dents on the top top middle of the card. It's a bit weird. Three, four, one, two. But the important thing is, is that the back, the back card is fine. The back card is fine, which is where the rear is. Axew, Nose Pass, Snow Runt, Clink, Dedene, Lightning Energy, Staravia, Butter, Clang, Manafi Reverse. Very nice. And then a Mimikyu V. Okay, so we've got another, another wee cheeky hit. Nothing great though yet. Nothing great. And we're approaching the halfway point. Dummy Doll. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may prevent all damage done to this Mimikyu V by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. It's like the same ability as Garchomp. Um, which is quite interesting. Um... Garchomp, um, which actually words differently on the card if you go and find one and have a read. Um, but it's been irritated by Pokemon so that the actual, uh, so now that the actual effect on the card is the same as um, basically what's on that Mimikyu V there. So there we go. So uh, Pokemon sometimes from time to time, they change the effect, how, the, how the effect works. Um, it's called an Irritor. It's on an Irritor list, which is on Pokemon.com. Um, so there's something new for you guys. Um, it's especially only relevant for those who play the game, um, and mostly for those who play it in a competitive sense, um, who need to know that um, something has changed. So, Ooh. okay, and the last pack from the left-hand side of the box. Three, four, one, two, over the top. Okay, the Deans. Starting off with the Deans. Cub Chew, Shinx, Far Fetched and Execute, Dark Energy, we've got Marnie's Pride, Pachirisu, Blunder Policy, Luxray Reverse, and a Lapras Ordinary Rare to end up to end the first half of the box. So we're one half down, we've got one half to go. These ones aren't pre opened. I'm going to do my best to keep the pace up over the top there. There we go. Okay, we're into it. Starly. Spiritomb. Perloin. Milsery. Shinx. Steel Energy. Star me. Starly, Star me. Weavile. Dusclops. Bell Toy Reverse Hollow and a Wormadum Steel type to go off the grass type that we pulled before. So the Wormadum deck's interesting with that Matron's Anger Attack. Does 30 damage plus 10 more for each Pokemon in the discard pile. So the more Pokemon you get knocked out, the more power that Wormadum gets. But you can keep bringing it back straight to the field by removing your Zorark from the field. So you swap out Zorark, which has got two Pokemon because it's evolved from Zorua. And then you can put your Wormadum into play. So it just means that it, it just deals another 20 damage again from what it would have done before because you've got this because you've got the um the Zyrak now added to the graveyard. Um, plus 
whatever else you manage to do that turn to put even more Pokemon in the grave. So it can be a dick that can end up hitting very, very hard. And in one price format, um, you don't need to hit as hard as the Vs, um, but you just need to be able to, um, to keep up with them um, in terms of damage output or um, in terms of prize exchange more than anything. So you'll buy Barrel Hollow there with its industrious and scissors ability. Once during your turn, you may draw up until you've got five cards. And the more of those buy barrels that you have in play, um, the more that you can use them. Use the abilities, each one. And it means you're going to be playing cards. So you're going to be drawing up until you've got five cards. Play some more cards. Use another buy barrel. Draw up until you've got five cards. And just carry on and just carry on playing into it. Staryu, Fermi, Sork, Cherubi and Riolu, Dark Energy, Tropius, Claydol, Freshwater Set, got Muck Reverse with that Sludge Street ability, followed up by Tornadus, Ordinary Rare. Um, I like the Muck. I like I like the idea of combining it with Milotic V and um, Gar Garbador from Rebel Clash. It's creating a bit of poison, creating a bit of um, creating a lot of extra retreat cost, dealing a whole bunch of damage reg in, in regards to that. Um, things like Eternatus V Max, which just seems so bulky, all of a sudden um, are just being knocked out really, really easily. Duskull, Sneasel, Corfish, Grass Energy, Prinplup, Sinchino, Cleansing Gloves, Torkoal Reverse. And, oh, Aluminium V Full Art. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's an absolute stunner of a card. This is one of the chases for my wife and I. Matt, you'll be happy with this. It looks great. Uh, so let's get a sleeve on that. Here comes the penny. Bam, straight on there. With that Luminous Sign ability. So when you play this uh, Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Um, so it's the, similar to Outergross V that came out um, a while ago. Um, but Outergross V brings the supporter back from the discard. This lets you search your deck instead. So um, it can be sometimes good to run a cheeky one of each just in case you've had to discard that key that key um, supporter and you only run one. Crawdont, Ultra Ball, Vibrava, Milsery Reverse, and a Scavalier Ordinary Rare there. But that Aluminium V, um, I think that's the best. That takes us up to the top of the list in terms of hits for the box. Um, I've got a feeling it could even be worth a little bit too. Might be like a cheeky 20 or something like that. Could be more. I'm not sure. Um, haven't really been keeping that up to date with what prices are doing regarding Brilliant Stars. So if anyone knows what that Luminium V is worth, feel free to chuck that up in chat. Gibble, Turret Twig, Trap Inch, Piplup. No, no, two of the three only. Tycol. Double Turbo Energy, Probo Pass, oh, Cafe Master Full Art is part of the Trainer Gallery, what a, yeah, what a banger, and a Dramper V, so we've got a double hit pack, oh, very, very good, oh, but that Cafe Master, that's an absolute stunner on the Full Art with the El Creamy, no, no, El Creamy in sight on that one, we've got this cup of frozen yogurt, it looks like El Creamy, just teasing us, teasing us, making us think that it might be um, something weird going on there, but that's okay. So there we go. Both of those are sleeved up. We're going to put those into the pull section. Put these over here. Okay, and then we're on to the, on to the next pack. Okay, okay, there we go. Bam, one, two, three, four. Done all right for trainer gallery hits today. With that Cafe Master, we've had Jolteon, we've had Flareon. Uh, maybe a Vaporeon will show up as well. What a great thing that would be. Or maybe an Eevee, Turtwig, Minchino, Fighting Energy, Luxio, Hitmontop, we've got Magma Basin, Sneasel Reverse, and a Hexorus Ordinary Rare to round it out. Okay, so it's going to carry on going. We want to find that golden card. We want to find what the hyper is going to be for the box. We haven't seen anything pop up yet. We've had that full art that came out before the Luminian. Um, we've had a V-Star so far. We've had a few Vs. 
Um, we've had the trainer gallery hit so as a full art, uh, but it doesn't count because it's part of the reverse. Sneasel, Bidoof for better. Electabuzz, Buzz, Fire Energy, real better. Clang, Gabite, Gibble Reverse, and a Clunk Clang, Ordinary Rare, just the Ordinary Rare um, at the end of the pack. Okay, here we go, maybe. <sighs> Halucha. Boizel, Gibble, Trap Inch, Execute, Psychic Energy, Pachirisu, Sigilyph, Choice Bout, Alcremi, Trainer Gallery, and a Garchomp Hollow with that Sonic Slop ability. So there you go, we can look at that now. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. So what Pokemon have done is that they've changed the wording on that card so that instead of saying um, from effects and attacks done to this Pokemon to the end of your opponent's turn, it's now uh, changed to damage from effects and attacks done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. So um, they've just made it so that your own Pokemon and your own card effects and that still damage the Garchomp during your turn that you play it. One, two, three, four, one, two. But Alcremia, another trainer gallery out. So I think that makes five or six for the box, which is pretty high. Cubchu, Duskull, Farfetched, Steel Energy, Team Yell's Cheer, Marnie's Pride, Grottle, Grim Snow Reverse, and a Motham Ordinary Rare with that Raid Attack. Um, so as I mentioned in a previous video, but in case you haven't watched it, um, the, the wording on the attack Raid is really important. Um, if this Pokemon evolved from Burmy during this turn, this attack does 70 more damage. So the key wording there is, if this Pokemon evolved from Burmy during this turn. So either it's already been out too long and so therefore it doesn't, doesn't um, apply. Or, the Mothin got onto the field without Burmy ever being present. Um... No, the secret hasn't been pulled yet, Cells. It's still coming. Electabuzz. So, if the, so using the likes of Zorak to get it onto the field, or another card that allows you to bring it onto the field. Oh, there's the Hyper. Cheren's Care. Rainbow Rare. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. What a card. Oh, very, very good. It's the first one I've seen the Hyper for Cheren's Care. So, very, very nice. Oh, that's stunning. That is absolutely stunning. So, let's put a... There we go, get a sleeve on that. Very good, and this was busted as with Arceus V-Star. Put, put one of your colorless Pokemon that has any damage counters on it, and all attached um, cards into your hand. So it means you don't even lose the energy or the, or the tool card or anything like that that's on the, that's on the, um, on the Arceus. Put it all back into your hand. You might have an Arceus V already on the bench, and you just come through and... Um, yeah, you just come through and replay it and attach the turn, all that kind of stuff, and just keep, carry on going. So, it's a really, really good card. It's a really, really good card, and um, it's really, really annoying to play against, too, when you think you're about to knock it, and then they come out with Churn's Care, removing it from the field. Nosepass, Snow Runt, Dark Energy, Friends in Galar, Weavile, Fracture, Clefairy Reverse, and Wormadam, um, Wormadam there. So if you're watching and you um, aren't part of the Splash Brothers on Facebook, um, you're not liking and following us yet, I would love it if you gave us a like and a follow. Uh, check out some of our other content. Um, you can have a look on the, around the page. You'll see some. Uh, you'll see the links to our YouTube channel on it there too. So please get um, get on there and um, and do that. Uh, that would be fantastic. Um, love to see you um, enjoy more of our content, and hopefully you are enjoying our content. Um, but if you've got any feedback or anything like that, feel free to throw that down too. I'm always keen to look at what we can be doing differently to engage with our community uh, at a better way. Um, Farfetched, Grass Energy, Friends in Galar, Probo Pass, uh, Team Yell's Cheer, 
Trepinch Reverse, and a Simmer CV. There we go. So another, another hit. And I think we're down to about four or five packs remaining. So it'll be interesting to see if we've got another one still to come. Um, but just for those who have only just joined, um, Cheerin's Key is the hyper rare so far for this. Is there going to be a cheeky gold in here as well? Well, let's find out. Um, I think there might be. I think there might be. I'm, I'm still holding out for a golden bird. Um, I think it could be. I think it could be in here. Okay, but as per normal, Jolie's having a bit of a tough time with these with these booster packs. Two, three, four, one, two. Here we go. Okay, here we go, team. Here we go. Nursery, Shanks, Impidimp, Gollet, Cast Form, Spermin Balls, Lightning Energy, Ace Scrolls Premonition, Pot Helmet, Executor, Impidimp Reverse, and Lucario Hollow. Um, sorry for that awkward pause. I heard my wife saying something through the wall. Wasn't sure if it was at me. Um, I don't think it was. Uh, but she was yelling something anyway, and I thought, okay, better just make sure that it wasn't important. Two, three, four, one, two. Want to see more input from Alex James Davies? Yeah, well, you hit him up for that. You you hit him up for that. That'd be great. Bell Toy, Snow Runt, Fighting Energy, Sigilith, Acerola's Premonition, Morgrim, Pachirisu Reverse. And Star Raptor, ordinary hollow there with that strong breeze, um, that strong breeze ability uh, attack there for three, for, uh, three colorless energy. You can um, fundraiser for a scooter. <laughs> three colorless energy. Your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon and all attached cards into their deck. So if, if they only happen to have that one card out, um, then bam, straight in there. Um, two, three, four. You tell him the fundraise for a scooter. Maybe you can use that. Um, he gets to keep that wins money. You can use that for a scooter. Riolu. Starly. Spiritomb. Perline. Fire Energy. Crawdont. Collapse Stadium. Claydol. Starmie Reverse. And a Magmorta. Ordinary Rare. With our good pal Electivire there helping them out. Okay, so two packs to go, team. So two packs to go. Let's see what happens. Um, my, I'm still holding out for a gold. I'm still holding out hope. Um, okay, so we've got the V Star marker in the in the pack. So no energy in this pack. Um, so it's not near. Clary, Clefairy a lot. Cherubi, Sork. Corfish, Gollert, Gollert, Collapse Stadium, Luxio, Pot Helmet, Drodagon Reverse. Is there going to be another Drodagon like I had last video? Leap Hard, Ordinary Rare. Okay, with that trade ability allowing you to discard a card from your hand. And if you do, you can draw two cards. Priorities, Alex. Priorities. Where are they? Where are they at? Come on. Splash Brothers needs some more content, bro. Right, last pack magic. Gold. Golden. Golden. Let's go. Let's go for the golden. Throw. Magma. Staryu. Burmy. Sork. We've got Throw and Sork in the same pack. It must be good. Psychic Energy. Ultra Ball, Hitmon Top, Magma Basin, Execute Reverse, come on, come on. Mimikyu VMAX, so a little bit of magic to end up the, to end things there, with the Mimikyu VMAX coming in at the, at the end. Very nice, very nice. Uh, wasn't the greatest box that we've had, uh, but wasn't terrible either. I mean, we had a Cheren's Care Hyper Rare, it's not bad, it's not bad. Um, Cafe Master Full Art, we like that. The Luminian Full Art, it's very nice. First one I've seen in person. Um, and then even like the we got the Flurry on there. We've got some we've got some Jolteon action. The artillery hanging out in his bucket. He's having a great time. So um, that's all. That's all we've got though. 
Um, so thanks, Matt, for letting us open that final box of yours, mate. Um, cruise on over whenever you're ready to come pick those up. And um, from Joel here at the Splash Brothers, um, have a fantastic rest of your Sunday night, ready for Monday tomorrow. And if you've got any questions, throw them in the comment section below, and um, love to have a chat. All right, have a great night. Bye.